My name is Dr. Jason Brock and I am an assistant professor of biology at Stephen F. Austin State University. The study that we're working on while we're here in Bermuda is part of a comparative study looking at how dolphins in different uh, populations respond to uh, UAVs or drones. And the idea is to look at how the dolphins respond as the drone gets closer and closer because as we use these devices in the wild we really don't want to shape any of the behavior from the animals there. We don't want to have any real change in response. So part of this initial project is just looking at you know, how low can the drone get before the animals start responding. And so while for this project we're using off-the-shelf drones, eventually we're going to build our own drone that's going to allow us to collect the hormone samples from dolphins as it flies very close to their blowhole and when they come up to breathe we collect that sample. So part of what we're doing today also is collecting visual images of the dolphins when they breathe and so we call these thermal images and these thermal images are giving us a picture of what that breath field looks like and it's going to help train our new drone how to collect those hormone samples from animals in the wild. I'm Savannah Damiano and I'm a graduate student at Stephen F. Austin State University. The ultimate goal of this project is to develop a new drone that can collect health data from wild populations of dolphins in a non-invasive way. If we didn't have zoos and we didn't have aquariums and we didn't have facilities like Dolphin Quest, we'd have to invent them. Because without facilities like Dolphin Quest, who work with researchers to develop new technologies and new conservation methodologies, we would be lost.